So as you can see, this is our guava field. We are here to cut the sion. When cutting the sion, you have to look for the buds. The buds should be one to two millimeters. As you can see, these are the buds. They are good for grafting. And when cutting the sion, you have to cut the little soft part, not the hard part, because the hard part is not easy to graft. And the soft part, it is easily to die, as you can see. Too soft. So when cutting the sion, you have to look for the little soft, not the too hard part. So we are cutting our sion here. These are the parts, one to two millimeters. This is where we craft. This is our crafting place. Before you start crafting, you have to prepare your tools. So these are our tools. First, this is a pruning scissor. We use this for cutting the sion in the field and also cut the rootstock when crafting. And this is the parafilm. This is the tape that we use to wrap the sion after after preparing it. Wrap the sion and also join the rootstock with the sion. And this is our main tool. This is a razor. We use the razor for crafting. And we also have a pen and these zip bags for keeping records. Lastly, we have our fertilizer. The name of our fertilizer is urea. We use urea after crafting. It helps the wound to heal fast. As you can see, we have two guava trees here. We want to show the difference between the local guava and the Taiwanese guava. The name of the Taiwanese guava, we call it pen. So, the difference is the local guava, our Swazi guava, you can see the leaves are red and even the stem is also red. The leaves are red, the leaves are red, and the stem is also red. Whereas the Taiwanese guava, the leaves are green, light green, and even the stem is green. That is the difference between the Taiwanese guava and the local guava, our Swazi guava. We are now preparing our sion for grafting. Before, you have to remove all the leaves. Nice without damaging the seal then we are done remember we said this is the soft part we don't use the soft part so we are going to use only one two parts so we are going to cut here we are going to cut here so our seal is now prepared the soft part easy to die we throw it away we are now preparing our tree for crafting you have to first remove the the branches on the tree and also the leaves if there are some old leaves you take them you throw them away then you take your sion that we've just cut and you look for the matching position on the rootstock you look for the position And also use the brown part because inside is still green look you must find the right size so here is the right size so we have to cut here then we cut and remember I said we have this paraffin tape this is the tape that we use you can get this paraffin tape at MCP lab in Matapa it is used for crafting. We call it the paraffin. So you peel the, the paper outside, then you are left with the tape. This tape is stretching. You can stretch it as much as you want, as you can. <laughs> you see? Then you take the sion, you hold it with your left hand, and you hold the paraffin with your right hand, and you start to wrap. When starting, when wrapping, you start at the bottom. You start wrapping the sion. We 
go up up you have to cover everything at the top you have to put it more because at times the water comes if the water comes in at the top then your sion is rotten no germination will okay so here we have wrapped our sion using the paraffin we are now grafting you have to hold your razor nicely make sure it doesn't hurt you you don't cut yourself because it is very sharp you start to graft you don't have to go deep when cutting because you are going to finish all the seal you take it slowly and you turn and also the other side you remove the green part even on the side it must be flat and V shaped in the edge because it connects easily when it is V shaped. So you see, our sion is now ready. Then we come to the rootstock. You cut it in the middle. As you can see, this is the cambium. You cut it in the middle here, the black part. You cut it straight in the middle down. Mm. Then you take your sion, you open the rootstock where you have cut it. You have to match this. The white must be on the white and the green must be on the green. You put it in, then Then you take your parafilm again. You remove the paper and you hold. You hold. You hold. And you start to wrap. You start from the bottom where you have cut it because you mustn't leave the cut it side out. You have to wrap it in because. If it is out, the water will get in and the sion will rot, then no germination. You wrap it nicely and slowly make sure you don't move it on the place. It must stand on the same direction. You wrap it, you wrap it around. You make sure that every cut surface is inside. Okay. Parafilm. Now we are done. Remember, we said these are our records. It's for keeping our records. So you have to write your name and the date. Then you take the plastic. You blow it, then you put it, you cover the tree. Why? Because you want to keep moisture and humidity to help the wound heal fast and to germinate quickly. After grafting and putting on the zip bag, you have to add fertilizer remember we said the name of our fertilizer is urea you must add 0.5 grams of the urea it helps the tree to grow fast and also heal the wound fast as you can see these are the stages of the grafted guava here is the first stage this is after grafting then the second stage is here after grafting after three to four weeks after three to four weeks, the tree will start to germinate. You will see the germinated, these are the leaves. In winter time, it takes four to five weeks because it's cold. And in summer time, it takes three to four weeks. Then this is the third stage. As you can see, the leaf is now showing up. It is growing, you can see. Also here still coming out and you have to remove this 
so that all the nutrients will go up and this is the fourth stage as you can see the leaf is now full in the bag at this stage you can now remove your plastic bag because you want to leave want the leaves to grow more bigger you can see the leaves are growing up and after this stage this is the next stage as you can see this one is successful this one successful one these are the stages as you can see this is our papa nursery these are our, all our crafted trees these are the trees we have just crafted and this one is almost four months at this stage it is ready for planting you can now plant your tree to start getting the big, sweet, aromatic Taiwanese guava. So I would like to encourage everyone to plant this Taiwanese guava. They are really nice, you will ask me. So my name is Tengetile Bubu. Thank you very much.